everybody, it's Kimmy, also known as Kimmy Smalls on Instagram. I am a reseller here in Colorado. I mostly shop at the Denver Goodwill outlet. I do also go to the Ark Thrift Store and just source as much as I can wherever I can. But I mainly do source at the Goodwill outlet and so I'm here with a haul for you guys of items that I picked up last week to resell. So there are a few consignment items kind of mixed in here, but consignment really isn't my focus anymore. I actually, in addition to being a reseller, I have two other jobs. I do some marketing for a financial planning company, but more excitingly, I actually just started tattooing. So check out my Instagram page and you guys can kind of follow along on my newest journey of tattooing. I will always be a reseller. I've been reselling for a little over two years now and it is it's a passion of mine and I it's a hobby I love it so much and so even though I am kind of embarking on a new journey here with tattooing I will forever once a thrifter always a thrifter right um so anyway follow me on Instagram it's Kimmy Smalls k-i-m-m-e-s-m-a-l-l-z-z -Z, two z's at the end um but anyway I'm here to show you guys what I picked up last week and I know that that's what here what you guys are here to see so let's get started all right, so first off, I have this cardigan. So literally all of these items are coming straight out of the Ikea bag that I put them in when I got them at the bins and I haven't looked at them since. So this is kind of fun for me too. I kind of almost forgot what I picked, but I haven't cleaned anything. I haven't processed anything. This is like, we're raw dogging it right now, guys. So anyway, Anthropology. this is a Kemi and Kin. This is just a really cute cardigan, that kind of eyelash style. It's really good condition, no pulls or anything like that. A Kemi and Kin is kind of hit or miss, but I felt like that was good condition. Perfect for the season and a cute style. Um, let's see, we have a new tags item. This is Misguided Maternity. I typically don't do Misguided. I really just picked this up because it was new with tags, thinking, oh, I'm going to take it to Plato's Closet, and then I realized it's maternity. Um, I'm going to look up the comps just to kind of see how they do on Poshmark. But generally speaking, like this is a cute little dress, a little maternity dress for the spring. I know, again, it's kind of off season. Worst case scenario, I'll send it off to thread up, but likely it's gonna be going in my store. Can't can't go wrong with new tags. I love when I find that at the bins. Um, this is a little free people tank top. A little on the wrinkly side, but the print is really cute. J. Crew. This is the newer tag where the um, writing is in cursive. I typically only pick up newer J. Crew, and the beautiful thing about J. Crew is they have the style number, so I always am looking up comps. J. Crew does do pretty well on Thread Up, though, so if it's a style that I don't feel like is worth my time, I'm just going to send it to Thread Up. This one specifically is from 2019. Um, here, I'll show you guys really quick that tag. Reseller 101, guys, this is the best. Here we go. See? says it's from 2019. So again, I'll look up that style name and see how it's doing. Um, I really like this style though. I think it's cute. It'll likely end up in my shop, but the numbers will tell. Uh, this is Free People. We have the free little button up. It's such a bright green, the camera can't even like pick it up. There we go, it's kind of, kind of trying. Um, it's that button up style with that raw hem detail that Free People is known for. Really cute. And for those that don't know, Free People is the best, again, with their style numbers. This number right here, anytime you see the OB, that's their style name. Google Free People OB with that code and it'll bring up the stock images and the style name so it's much easier to look up comps and to use the stock images. So. Love that about free people. Not all of them though, not all of them have that, but when they do have it, it's so nice. Another free people moment. This is one of their like iconic, intimately free people slips. These always sell for me consistently. They do well. I mean, they're not the most expensive item, but it's kind of one of those sought after styles from free people. All right, Zara. I know that Zaro's, Zara, Zaro, Zara is like one of those no lows, as they say. Like, so Bolo is be on the lookout. No low, they say like, don't be on the lookout. It's really not that great. Even though they it retails high, it doesn't really resell high. Um, but this one was like brand new condition. 
really cute details. It's not the Zara Truff, Truffaluk, Truffaluk, I don't know how to say it. It's kind of the Zara TRF brand is kind of their like lower end. This one is not so, and it's very fall, fall vibes. So it felt on season, good condition. Worst case, it'll go to consignment, but I'm gonna look up the comps for it and see how it does. This is a fun anthropology piece. So this brand is Arata Silent Journey. Am I saying that right? Yeah, um, something like that. It's an anthropology brand. They all kind of have the similar like flowy tunic, whimsical vibe, very anthropology. Um, but it's just kind of one of those iconic brands. I almost knew it was this brand before I even picked it up. I knew it was gonna be anthropology and I was not surprised when it was the Arata Silent Journey brand. And look at these, look at this button at the top. Look how fun is that? It's so cute. Um, so yeah, anthropology. These sell for a pretty good amount. I've sold ones before but for like between $30, $40, which I feel like is pretty good. Bowden. This is one of those, again, almost like that Free People slip top. It's kind of one of those iconic Bowdoin styles, these like stretchy wrap blouses. I feel like it's a good um, business casual style. And I knew based on the print that this was Bowdoin before I even picked it up. But this one, Bowdoin's pieces, the colors tend to fade really quickly. And this one is still really rich. So that's why I picked it up. It's really not gonna sell for a ton, but I have a feeling it'll go quickly if I put it um, between 20 and 30, pretty decent. All right, so I don't really dabble in men's um, pieces, but can't pass up Burberry. This is a button-down shirt, obviously bright purple. I'm gonna do, obviously, as I keep saying, I'm gonna look up the comps before I decide if it goes in my shop. Since I do work two other jobs, I am very particular about what I spend my time on. So if something's not gonna sell quickly and for a decent amount, I don't really put the time in. I'm all send it off to consignment at that point. So we'll see where that one ends up. Um, Kid is in. So I have a three year old daughter that it just makes sense for me to do Kid is in because I'm constantly picking up kids' clothes. I know kids' brands. And I also buy stuff from Kid is in. So um, I do pick up kids' clothes pretty often. I try to stick to the higher end brands like Hannah Anderson and Minnie Bowden. Sperry's do really well for kids. Um, there's just certain brands, crew cuts that I like to stick with for Kitizen. Um, but I am trying to kind of expand my Kitizen shop because I am finding that you can make good money on there. If you if you put in the effort like you do any other platform, you'll get back what you put in. I've cashed out, you know, a few hundred dollars from that platform each month consistently putting in the work. So um, I do recommend it if it does fit your brand if you're looking to expand your reselling business kitizen is a really good option and i just learned that kitizen when you list an item on kitizen it also makes it available on facebook marketplace and it just shows up as a normal order on kitizen so you're actually getting a whole nother platform just by listing on the one um, spot so i think that's really cool too so anyway with that said this brand is lulu and rue it's a kid's little tank top. Again, like I said, I'm just trying to expand my Kid Zen shop. I've never found this brand before, but the comps looked somewhat decent, so we're going to give it a try. I like um, gambling in that sense. I like learning about new brands and just kind of experimenting, so that's going to be one of them. We'll see if it goes quickly and for how much. All Saints. This is just like a button-up, short sleeve denim top. Um, this is Free People Beach. Some like drop crotch pants. I kind of want to try these on. They look really fun. Do the MC Hammer dance in them. All right. I, m me and my blush pink. This piece, I just love it personally. Bella Amour made in Italy linen with this really pretty eyelet details on the sleeves. I find a lot of linen made in Italy pieces that you would think are worth a lot, but you just have to look them up, look up the specific brands. Um, this one wasn't anything incredible, but it was a little bit higher than what I've seen for other Italian linens. So again, we're learning, you know, we're not necessarily paying for an education. Um, 
money is not going to be lost. It's just going to be a way for me to learn and see if this is something I should be looking out for. Um, and that's the benefit of shopping at the Goodwill bins is that you can kind of, you have that room, that allowance to gamble, to expand your knowledge and pick up pieces that you wouldn't normally pick up. You know, if you're spending three, four, five dollars, ten dollars an item. Like this is probably one of my favorite finds. This is a Ruli. I love Ruli. I know that they don't resell amazing. They do get a lot of traction. Um, and they sell maybe not for as much as you'd think for how cute the styles are. But look at this jumpsuit. My favorite blush pink, cutie, belted jumpsuit. Oh, I love her. I might have to try it on. It looks like it might be a little too small for me, but I'll squeeze my butt into it. This piece is so soft. This is a Free People sweater. It's almost like a little cardigan. It doesn't have any sort of like zipper closure or anything like that. It's just kind of a drapey hooded cardigan. This is hard to show because it's got a lot of fabric to it. Wowzes. That's the back. So yeah, a little Free People guy. Again, that OB number, I'm going to look up the style name, look it up more specifically on Poshmark and decide if it's going to go in my shop or if I'll consign it. Typically, Free People ends up in my shop. It sells pretty well. Oh, this is one of the prettier items in my pile today. Um, Sleeping on Snow. It's a brand from Anthropology, and it's a very like whimsical brand to say the least. Um, I love it. But this is like a little cross stitch linen. It has kind of that blazer fit to it, even though it's very lightweight. It has, you know, the collars. Um, yeah, I don't know. There you go. Super cute. Embroidered details all over the place. Can't wait to steam it and bring it to life. I don't know about you guys, but I find steaming items so satisfying when you watch them go from like a shriveled rag to like this beautiful piece. Anyway, another Free People slip. Again, one of those iconic styles from Intimately Free People. I love this color too. It reminds me of a orange creamsicle. All right, Theory. Good old Theory. They have style numbers on the inner tags as well so hit or miss so hit or miss i've had just simple little tank tops go for 50 60 dollars and then i've had brand new with tag theory pants go for 40 dollars so it's a total gamble i'm gonna look up the style name decide from there if it's gonna go in my shop it is silk and it has a little bit of i might need to get it dry cleaned so depending on um how the comps look we'll go from there but Theory does do really well on ThreadUp. I shouldn't say really well. ThreadUp is, um, I don't want to talk too highly about ThreadUp. It works, but you have to know how to work it. That's what I'll say about ThreadUp. Um, anyway, new to me brand, Yasmin Ozeri little tank top cute comps look really good for this brand though I'm excited to to put it up there and see how quickly it goes and for how much we are through one Ikea bag although this fell out of the bottom of the Ikea bag um Joa Brown made in the United States brand sells pretty well simple black tank top i know that like this you'd think as a reseller this is not worth my time but this brand it is worth your time i promise it's not going to sell for a ton but it will sell free people was the brand um last week the brand um, that i found the most of good old free people one of their i want to call say this is called like the drippy waffle thermal or something um tis the season right uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Those always sell pretty well for me, especially on Mercari. If I put them at about like $25 with free shipping, it'll go pretty quickly. Um, this is a Free People brand as well. Free People has, you know, all their like offshoots. This is the FP1. 
little, let's see, there's so many straps on here. Like, which way is up? Oh God. Okay, let's see. Um, we're getting there. Okay, I'm holding it up like this. We're calling it good. This is it, everybody. She cute. Definitely like a swing dress, lots of extra fabric and lots of straps as we learned. Cute though. What do we got here? Oh, this is a Madewell basic tee. Honestly, this will probably end up staying with me because it's so basic, but um, this would do well on thread up. Um, I don't know, we'll decide. I forgot that I picked this up. I'll, I'll likely be keeping it for myself because it is so basic, but if I end up not liking it off to thread up, it'll go. Okay. Um, this is gonna go to consignment. Zara woman denim skirt. Zara again is just kind of hit or miss. It's not really the right season. We'll see if Plato's Closet will take it. If they don't take it, excuse me, it might end up going to thread up. <laughs> As I'm saying, I don't really like Zara. Here's a pair of Zara jeans. They're in really good condition though, and they're kind of that like baggy flare style. I'm gonna do a little research and see if I can find any similar ones that have sold on Poshmark and see how much. Worst case, they're gonna go to, th uh, not thread up, Plato's Closet. They're always buying jeans, I feel like, so that'll probably be a good buy for them. They're in really good condition. Good old free people. I actually have this dress already listed in another color. Really cute little button details on this guy though. I like how it has that wrap look. Little flower dress. And then like, feels like brand new condition. Oh, although I just found a little mark on it that I'll have to wash out. Okay, so Brooks Brothers with Liberty Fabric. I've sold the J. Crew button up tops made with the Liberty Fabric for a good amount, you know, around $50. Um, the comps for this one, for the Brooks Brothers ones, weren't as great, but decent enough for me to pick them up. I'll list it if it doesn't sell in, you know, the next six months to a year off to consignment, it'll go. Good old kid is in Hannah Anderson little top. Looks like it might have a few little spots that I need to treat, but this kind of stuff, I'll put it up for $20 with free shipping and it'll go. Another Hannah Anderson top for Kid is in. I love this brand for kids, uh, Matilda Jane. Having a daughter, it's like so fun because all these crazy pieces. Um, but this is a really fun like tiered dress that I'll put on Kid is in. We're almost to the end. Isabella Sinclair. This is an anthropology brand. It's a really beautiful button up, but it has, I need to show the details here. Look at it. I mean like eyelets can sometimes feel generic, but this one feels so much more than that. I love this one. Very beautiful. Um, Hannah Anderson, little sweater. I picked this piece up to go to consignment. It reminds me of those free people slips, but the brand is Umgi. It's that boutique brand. That'll go to Plato's Closet. A pair of Hudson jeans. The style is Colin Skinny. Woo! They're actually in really good condition. The only thing that I'm going to note in the listing is that the button has a little bit of like tarnishing, I'm guessing from when it got washed and it's clunking around in the washer. Um, but otherwise, for white jeans, they're in really good shape. All right, any festival goers, I've got an outfit for you. 
I wish that I could rock something like this. Um, so this is the top. Yup. <laughs> That's the top. And when you find a two piece set at the bins, you have to get it. Like when you find both sides and like, I want to live vicariously through whoever is wearing this because get it girl. Oh, there we go. Get it girl. These are, this is the bottoms, obviously basically a bikini with tassels. Yes. Um, so fun. The brand is Bear Dance. Um, I don't know anything about it. Part of me wants to say this is almost just like a TJ Maxx brand or something, but like I said, finding both pieces to a two-piece set at the bins is rare. So if you find it, you pick it up. And that I feel like is perfect for a festival girl. This is, I have just a couple other pieces after this. We're almost to the end. So this is a Patagonia that I found little fleece quarter zip it needs a little bit of shaving but this guy will go quickly for the season athletic wear is not my lane it is not my lane um but when you find patagonia you don't really say no especially like a fleece right before it's about to get cold so that is a good find um, okay so the last couple items this is another umgi piece taking it to plato's closet it's just like a green acid wash like tunic I just felt like it was very like on in season and on trend really cute perfect condition i love this one i tried it on for myself and it did not look good um on me but it would look good on somebody else it's that it's like a pullover hoodie that has a collar on it i shouldn't call it a hoodie because it has no hood pullover sweater with a collar on it but it's a really cute cream color with that oh i just like that like it's gonna be so comfy but you're gonna look so cute in it mm. This is brand new with tags. The brand is Fate. Again, I got picked this up for myself, but it did not fit me right. Way too like boxy, but it's like a pleather tank top. Plato's will love me for that. And then last but not least is this cute little jacket that I'm gonna take to Plato's closet. The brand is Wild Honey, which I think is just a TJ Maxx type thing, but very on trend with the faux fur animal print from what i've gathered i'm not the most trendy person in the world but from what i've gathered furs are in this year guys so get ready for that to come back be be looking out for fur so anyway that's everything that i picked up last week at the bins to resell it was kind of a shorter day for me this honestly was a little bit of a lighter load but i'm being so selective about my inventory now that i am starting on this new adventure of tattooing i'm being very selective about my time um, but i love making these videos for you guys i would love to keep making them if you guys enjoy them so if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe do all the things that you're supposed to do to support a youtuber um, but otherwise, I appreciate you guys being here and listening. If you have any questions or if you're interested in anything, just let me know. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.